Today we're applying a lick of paint to my Orca Battle Galleon, a vehicle as cunning as it is brutal. First, we'll start by preparing the wooden planks. I built these out of coffee stirrers in part one, so go check that out if you haven't already. I'll have it pinned in a card up here somewhere. I was initially nervous about painting these, thinking that it would be time consuming, but I was pleasantly surprised. I used a base coat of Vallejo wood, a suitable choice. Next, I applied Vallejo mahogany using a unique method where you drag a wet sponge or cloth across the surface to create a realistic wood grain texture. I got this off of a airbrush like graffiti style channel, so I'll link that in the description down below as well. I repeated this process with Vallejo Mahogany mixed with black for deeper shadows, and in just three steps, I've got some really, really effective wood grain without having to go into detail with a brush, which would have taken forever on this giant model. Now let's focus on the metal parts, and there are quite a few across the ship. I've chosen to use Vallejo Gunmetal over everything as a base coat, and believe me, it is my favorite metallic color. In fact, I think I probably need Vallejo to sponsor me for the amount of Vallejo Gunmetal I've used. Come on, Vallejo, I know you're watching. If you're working on your own miniatures and you want to share your progress or any tips and tricks with other hobbyists, then I've got a Discord server which will be just right for you. Check it out in the description down below so that you can get in touch with other fellow hobbyists. Now it's time to bring some character to our ship. I applied a Citadel technical paint called Typhus Corrosion. This introduces accumulated rust and dirt to that flat Vallejo gunmetal, and I used this as well on the bottoms of the planks to create the illusion of barnacles from sailing across whatever gnarly seas these orcs have been on. The grainy texture of the paint really helps to break up the flat, smooth texture of the plastic parts from the toy Triceratops I cannibalized, as well as to give somewhere for me to apply the next stage. I applied a wash of Agrax Earthshade and Nolm Oil over all the metal parts. This is going to help to give it a grimy, worn down appearance, as the Orcs are not best known for keeping good care of their toys. This next stage is over certain areas where it's going to be even more rusted and worn down to apply riser rust. This is a dry paint, so I wipe most of it off onto a cloth before then dry brushing over the top of the texture from the Typhus Corrosion. What pirate ship would be complete without its crew? We've got four little guys scurrying around, including a special guest appearance, a Miley Cyrus impersonator on his very own wrecking ball. I base coat all of these guys with gunship green, and then added orc flesh contrast paint as a wash to deepen the shadows. Next to the skin, I applied Warboss Green to all the upraised areas and to highlight their musculature. These guys are hench and really reminding me I need to get back to the gym. I also applied a few pops of red across the model at this point on the flags that the guy on the prow of the ship is holding, as well as across some rockets and other parts of the model. For their clothes, it's all about simplicity, with black for boots and brown for leather, and a bit of a highlight with a lighter grey for the boots. Lastly on the crew, it came to their eyes, and for this, precision was key. I used a base coat of off-white, followed by a layer of Imperial Fist for a bright yellow color. This is rapidly becoming my go-to for getting a nice, vibrant yellow, and so I would highly recommend trying it out. You don't need to use Vallejo off-white, Citadel's Wraithbone will work perfectly well, and I have used that previously as well. Then, I carefully added a black dot to each eye, so hopefully none of these guys is going to be needing an eye patch. I finished off with a bit of Scarsnick Green over the face and hands, as these are the areas that your eye is really going to be drawn to, so I want to make sure that it's really prominent on the models. We're not done yet. I added some special details to the captain's deck, as he really has to be the flashiest git on the ship. There are black and white stripes, a true Orc fashion statement, and a splendid gold Gork, or Mork, face to inspire and intimidate both his enemies and his crewmates. Now to make our ship pop, I wanted some plasma glow just to kind of round it out and give some additional elements to draw the eye. I spray painted with a light blue and then washed some white into the deepest recesses, which are going to be the brightest parts of the plasma gun in the front of the Triceratops head, which is still a ridiculous sentence, and also the reactor at the back, which I'm imagining is powering this whole thing. And the captain is stood right next to it because he's not too worried about all the radiation given off. What can I say? Orcs are resistant to radiation and just about everything else.
With these final touches, our Orc Battle Galleon is now fully equipped to set sail and conquer the challenging waters of the 41st millennium. Project. If you did enjoy the video, please like it down below. It helps with the algorithm things, lets other people see it, uh, and helps to grow my channel as well. Um, speaking of growing the channel, if you haven't already, please subscribe down below and hit the bell icon so that YouTube can let you know when I publish my next video. Thank you so much for watching. My name has been Ollie. This has been my hobby, and I'll see you next time.